Hello everyone, this is Sean, and welcome back to episode number 47 of our RimWorld Alpha 16 Zippy's Folly Let's Play. When we last left off, it was the 14th of fall, and the ponds of Zippy's Folly were still worrying about this solar flare. The solar flare that is over with, so I guess it's only me that's worried about that. Let's deconstruct there. Now we're going to deconstruct that and that and that and save ourselves a very small amount of wood, but uh, more than uh, none anyways. See how Kevin feels about having to ha having to hang out in this disgusting room. Ugly environment, he says. And he's wearing a dead man's armor vest. Why? Why would you wear a dead man's armor vest? I'd really rather you don't wear an armor vest at all. Somebody else is probably going to come put it on. You know what that means? That means I should probably just be making some armors, armored vests. Also means I should deconstruct the... I have a fueled smithy and I have a regular smithy, so deconstruct this one. What's wrong with you? It's not even being used. It's just taking up space. Bills. Add bill. Make armored vest. Oh, wrong one. Well, let's make, make a couple of glady eyes. And we will make them out of either plasteel or uranium. That's fine with me. We don't have any uranium. I'm sure we don't have enough uranium to do that. So it's going to be made out of plasteel. Uh, I don't seem to have a smelter going yet. Here is where we would make those armored vests. And what do they use? They use two components and 120 steel. All right. Well, we're not exactly wealthy on components, but we will do some of that. So let's make up like uh, six of those. And I suppose I could put in a component assembly bench if I want to really just start burning through the steel. I think we can continue to, to purchase them like we have been. We should have a couple of traders coming our way. Exotic goods trader and a slave trader from what I understand, if I remember correctly. If I want to do that, what I want to do is that. There we go. And uh, you also should be on a power network. Pemmican, yep. Get some beef jerky coming our way here soon. Uh, we also want to... Whoa, uh, hotkeys do not move the thing. I'm going to say transport pod is probably going to be enough for now. I mean, I guess we could get power armor and charge shot out of the way. Uh, because, the, you know, I might want them later on for some reason. Uh, but right now I'm pretty happy without them. How long till you expand? Five days, huh? Uh, we'll keep you going for a little bit. I, mean, I don't really mind if it goes beyond the line, but it doesn't, doesn't really need to either. Not that these use a lot of electricity, 150 watts. Speaking of using electricity... All right, we're going to have us some baby boom rats here before too long. Keep thinking that that's a dead chicken, but it's not. These eggs, are, of course, are not going to go anywhere. They're just going to stay ruined by temperature. Eclipse is ending. Well, hello, sunshine, my old friend. Wait, wrong one. Got that backwards. Is this a uh, shoddy shield? No, do I do I have them set to uh, no any quality? That has to be above fifty percent. All right then. Oh, look, we've won over an additional cow, female and a male. Beautiful animals. Male muffalo, stay in the doghouse, please. Good. Well, that'll get us some uh, get us some pregnancies here. Help us get closer to being able to have a caravan going. You know, the drawback to getting all these animals means I'm gonna have to put my money where my mouth is when it comes to these caravans that I keep talking about. What do we have? A female and a male. Well, why don't I try to tame these two and worry a little less about trying to tame. Oh, I guess that's all, all that I have set up for taming. All right. 
I just don't, if this one we're making progress on taming it, I don't really want to turn it off. Hey, it joined. Good. Well, I'm glad I didn't turn it off then. Um, so, animal. Wow. So we're up to four muffalo. Ugh, too many animals. It's already looking so confusing there. And we barely got uh, barely got anything started. All right. How how many? So we have two females and two males, right? All right. So I don't want this 11 year old male. I'm going to change my mind about him. Let's cancel. As a matter of fact, let's hunt. <laughs> Either join or die. That's your uh, that's your option. Hopefully we don't drive the rest of you mad. Or accidentally shoot one of the ones that we're trying to recruit. Ah, here comes here comes our traders. We have a few plasteel racks ready to go. Let's go ahead and make up a few more. It's probably too late at this point, but you know, always good to be prepared. We'll be prepared for the next uh, the next batch that comes through. Probably still have everybody set to construct, don't we? So let's clear that up. There we go. And Kevin will help us out. We're going to have a bunch of them ready when this uh, trader shows up. That'll be nice. Good. All right, Julian. Julian, come talk to... Uh, oh, boy. There we go. Hawk. Trade with Hawk, please. Hawk. It looks like the... Slaver. Well, I'm less concerned about trading with you, but we, you know, we'll still, if you have stuff that I need, I'm not going to turn you down. You're paying a good price for smoke leaf joints. Um, I was hoping you would have medicine, I bet, is the reason that I asked you to come over, but I can sell some, uh, sell some of these lousy weapons off to you, too. I guess I'm going to hold on to that. I don't need to have t too many sniper rifles. I have quite a few, actually. It's a surprise. Some grenades. Don't need those dead men's vests. I do want to hold on to those personal shields. Wow, quite a quite a selection of them, huh? I can get rid of that shoddy one then. Um, that's going to be it. All right, well, that was fun. And um, I know the other trader came through or is coming through. Must be down there intermingled. So uh, it must be Fira, the exotic goods trader. Let's see what Fira has to say. Fira says, boy, you have a bunch of animals already. Do you want some capybaras? And I'm like, gosh, no, I do not. I'm not offended that you offered, but, uh, you know, come on, let's be serious. I'm not running a zoo here. Oh, five Glitter World Medicine. Beautiful. That means I can install five bionics that I don't have. Well, four that I don't have, one that I do. And, uh, oh, there's another bionic eye. A lot of bionic eyes for sale. It's the probably the bionic that I least am interested in now that it doesn't help my doctors. That used to be the real one of the real selling points of a bionic eye. Also, back when art used to be a lot more critical, I think, than it is now. Um, hmm, I still don't have any competent artists, but it looks like the value of art has increased. Uh, but we do have some valuable racks to sell, so we'll get rid of all those. And that should get us back on the uh, positive side, money-wise, barely, though. Uh, but that's okay, because we got a bionic and a bunch of medicine and stuff out of it. So I am not going to complain about how that has turned out. Let's look at everybody's health here. Just make sure everybody, so see, I knew somebody was still going to be on the, uh, but you know what? You're going to get a bionic left eye. Let's just do it. No, uh, no need to worry about that. Uh, one thing I do want to worry about is who the doctors are. Probably should just have Julian take care of it. Um, you are, you are taking care of it, but on, on who? On Norberto? 
Norberto probably ought to be resting in an actual hospital bed instead of uh, instead of fooling around having surgery done in his bedroom. Now you can operate on Norberto there, Julian. I know you wanted to. You had your mind set on it. It's got to be an accident that the medicine ended up stacked in that uh, weapons rack, right? Like, that's not where medicine belongs. All right, Norberto, you're going back to regular medicine. And uh, that means I have arm. I guess that's it. I have one bionic arm to give away. Who deserves the bionic arm? Who doesn't have any bionics yet? Well, Nick, of course, but Nick, does, Nick doesn't want any bionic arms. Uh, Christian? Erasmo? Wanderer. Looks like Christian. Christian wins through seniority. So there we go. That'll come in real handy. Well, you know what, actually? What does Christian do? Aside from research. Very little. So you know what, Christian? You are not going to get that. Erasmo, on the other hand, is an artist. And a grower. And then Wanderer is a miner. Hmm. Alright, we'll give it to Erasmo. Health. That, that, add bill, bionic arm, right shoulder. And Christian, we're going to cancel your bill. Erasmo, are you going up to rest? Why don't you go up to rest here? And uh, how's Julian doing? Julian is still working. Why don't you come up and do this operation? Erasmo, are you set for the good medicine? You are good. Well, just uh, 154 days in, so two and a half years. And we've gotten uh, most everybody bionic up. Unfortunately, we still only have eight pawns. We should have like a dozen by now, I would expect normally. I could always start, like I haven't, you know, tried to, uh, to capture any visitors. I used to capture a lot of visitors to build up my, uh, this is before I started making Let's Play videos, but you know, that used to be a pretty common strategy for me, would be to capture visitors and win them over. And then that would be fun because then you could, uh, you would be at war with, uh, you know, at war with those, with uh, whoever you'd captured. Wait a minute, why, did, why didn't it allow me to install that there? Is that, so that's probably Swamp or something? Install. There we go, thank you. Already too many animals for the number of sleeping spots that we have set up. Let's uh, build a copy. Just build a bunch more. May as well huddle together for warmth. Oh, look at the little chicks that we have. Peep, peep. All right, so chicks. That's male. So we have hen, rooster. No, let's try it the other way around. Doing that right? Okay. And and hen. Beautiful. So the hens will start making eggs that we can eat. And the roosters will just let them grow up, and then once they become adults, we'll just kill them. Or sell them, I guess. We could sell them. But I think right now we probably want the meat. Do I have uh Yep, you are set up to, oh, I see. Details. There we go. Make up to a thousand kibble. With, what are you making it with? Hay and any kind of meat? Hmm. Set you to be at a thousand. There we go, great. That way if we end up with any insect meat, that's all. Lots of eggs down here. Lots of chickens doing it. <laughs> They're doing it. <laughs> timely, timely reference there. 
It's like it was ripped from today's headlines. Well, I thought we were going to have to worry about uh, where to expand after we finished off this building. Where was I going to put my second uh, second residence hall? But uh, that has not been a concern. <laughs> I'm still not sure where we're going to put it, though. Over here, maybe? I guess I could clear this swamp out, put it like right in here. Oh, shit, there's a hole in that wall. How did I not notice that? Wow. Do I have limestone? Okay. Um, let's look at, I bet you that was from the melee raiders that we had at the beginning of the last episode. 17 by 13 is what I'm going to want to have for that. So, 13 by 17. So I actually could go up a little more. So like that, 13 by 17. So I can cut three off the bottom like that. And then we'll do this. There we go. So that means we're going to need a few, a few of those uh, moisture pumps set up down there. But that's no problem. Just have to run power over there as well. Also, not really a problem. Just run it through here. That's the main power conduit, right? So like that, like that. That means we can cancel those instructions right there. And then we'll build you down that way. Maybe over that way for now. And uh, I'll set you like right there. Actually, I'd say right there. And we'll set you there. Hmm. That's too bad. Well, that's pretty close to where I want to be. All right, that'll do for now. And those are the traders that are long gone at this point. How are we doing on time? Five minutes, huh? And the snow is still falling. Oh, whoo! It is really coming down out there. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, here in Portland, um, like we have really mild weather. It, it doesn't really snow that often. When we when it does snow, like we get an inch or two inches, and and it kind of shuts the whole city down. Today's a Saturday, so it's not gonna be as bad last time we had snow it was on wednesday and it hit like right at three or four o'clock so it just it literally shut our city down it was crazy um and uh yeah so it's pretty unusual for us you know it's 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 not warm here uh but it's um like our winters don't get that cold you know just, they, they're they're rainy and like 40 degrees fahrenheit um but uh, yeah, this is the third snowfall we've had this year, and uh, I can see that it's covered the streets. I don't see any cars driving around out there. I live right on the edge of downtown. Um, so yeah, I haven't seen the light rail drive by for a little while yet. Uh, so I'm kind of excited. I'm going to probably head out, grab my camera if the wind isn't blowing too badly, and head out and see if I can take some pictures here uh, after I'm done with today's episode. And I'll be taping some. Uh, I'll be taping the second batch of FTL episodes later on today, which I'm also excited about. So, uh, Wanderer has no mining to do, huh? Does that mean that we have finished up the mining? Resources below nothing. Deconstruct. And uh, we're actually pretty good on steel, so that means this one must be dry as well. Deconstruct. We'll go ahead and turn this one on. And uh, he, let's flip you back on for a minute. And uh, we'll see. Uh, I want to build another one of those, like right there, I would say. It's a good spot for it. And oh, look at that lag. What is going on with that lag? This is, this is level three speed. It's so choppy. Uh, you know, I've seen people complaining about lag and uh, FPS issues. Um, looks like the FPS is staying the same. You guys can't see that, but I can. It's still at 60. 
Uh, but the boy, those pawns are moving in real stuttered little steps there. Uh, that's right. So now Christian is idle. Christian, Christian, Christian could be mining. So all I really need to do is just get more mining, mining going here, uh, and that won't take too long. I can turn turn one of these on as well. I can turn you back off. I think. I thought for a second they were out here playing uh, horseshoes, and I was pretty sure I'd moved that horseshoe thing. Aha, I need to build a smelter production. Electric smelter. Give me smelter. Oh, terrible. Can't believe I made that joke. I don't like, like I actively dislike the Rolling Stones. <laughs> I feel like they're one of the one of the most overrated bands. I know that's big words coming from somebody who uh, will uh, tell you that the only band worth listening to is Steely Dan, but still, um, Rolling Stones, overrated. I said it. I'm really going out on a limb there, talking to probably, I'd imagine most of my viewers are in their 20s, maybe early 30s. I'm really sticking my neck out there talking smack about the Rolling Stones. Like a band that my parents were probably. Uh, no, nah, I'd say my parents are about the right age to listen to the Rolling Stones. Not too old for them. Chick 2 has got food poisoning. Well, that's what you get when you eat raw vegetables. Why aren't you eating some of that delicious kibble that, uh, that everybody should have available to them? Um, I guess that's my own dang fault. Uh, we're going to go ahead and turn off the vegetarian options in these storage zones. Hopefully uh, I remember to turn them back on when the uh, time comes around. Uh, but it seems like I have a pretty good supply of kibble at this point. I have a bunch stored in... Uh, stored in there. Gross. So this must be a preferred priority. Yeah, of course it is. And I have this set to lower than preferred. No, I have it set to preferred. It should be set to important then. Ah, a bunch of new chicks running around in here. There we go. And there's the timer. So I will worry about uh, fiddling with all those zones and stuff uh, between episodes here before I go out and play in the snow. All right. Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this episode. It has been fun to make. And uh, we've got a bunch of chicks running around. It's great. Only took us three days, nine episodes, but we finally have chickens. Our chicken farm is going to explode here before too long. If I don't take close control over the population. Um, if you've enjoyed the episode, click like down below. That helps other people see it, and they can subscribe, and it builds our numbers. I really do appreciate all you guys watching. Whether you subscribe or comment or anything, just watching uh, makes me feel good. I do see those numbers, and it is gratifying. Um, I hope you will continue to watch and check out some of my other series. Today I'll be making more of my FTL series. That's fun. I don't know how to play that game. I've never played it before. Never really watched any Let's Play videos or really learned much about the game. So if you start the series anew, you can see how surprised I am at what a fun game it is. And um, today I'll be recording episodes 7 through 12, supposedly. And uh, also my Capitalism Lab series uh, is surprisingly popular. So if you want to check out a deep economic simulator, you should check that out. It's pretty interesting. It's very old. Um, a very old game, but it is currently supported, so it's not quite as old as you would expect. Um, but uh, it's also kind of fun to watch me get frustrated by the UI and some of the other some of the other things that definitely feel old about it. Uh, so I hope you've enjoyed watching. Watch some other videos, and uh, I will have some. Uh, I think we're going to go back to Transport Fever here real soon because I was playing that in my offline. And uh, I can actually do pretty well on hard difficulty now. So I want to give that another shot. That is a pretty fun game. Um, but uh, either way, watch this series as well. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Bye.